In a grand kingdom, far, far away, there lived a majestic cat named Sir Whiskers. He was the royal pet of King Reginald. With his sleek, glossy fur and dazzling emerald eyes, Sir Whiskers was the epitome of feline elegance. The people of the kingdom adored him, and he was pampered beyond imagination. Every morning, Sir Whiskers dined on the finest fish and cream served in a golden bowl. He slept on the softest silk cushions and had an array of toys that would make any cat envious. The palace maids groomed him daily, and the court musicians played soothing melodies to lull him to sleep. Despite all this luxury, Sir Whiskers felt a void in his heart. While the palace was his domain, Sir Whiskers often gazed longingly out of the grand windows, at the gardens and forests beyond. He watched as the common cats roamed freely, chasing butterflies and climbing trees. He yearned to experience the simple joys of life outside the palace walls, since he has never been outside the palace. One sunny afternoon, as the king and his court were busy preparing for a grand ball, Sir Whiskers saw his chance. With a graceful leap, he slipped out of an open window and padded quietly across the palace grounds. His heart raced with excitement as he ventured into the unknown. Sir Whiskers first encountered a group of village cats playing in a meadow. They welcomed him with curious eyes and he joined their games with enthusiasm. He chased his first butterfly, feeling the thrill of the chase and the warmth of the sun on his fur. The village cats showed him how to catch fish from a stream and climb tall trees. Sir Whiskers felt more alive than ever before. As the sun set, Sir Whiskers realized he needed a place to sleep. He found a cozy spot under a big oak tree and curled up, feeling the comforting rustle of leaves around him. For the first time, he slept under the stars, free from the confines of the palace. The next morning, Sir Whiskers woke to the sounds of birds chirping and the scent of wildflowers. He continued his adventure, meeting more animals and making new friends. He learned to navigate the forest and made a lot of friends on the process. He was no longer Sir Whiskers, the royal cat. He was just Whiskers, a cat like any other. Back at the palace, King Reginald and the courtiers were very worried. They searched high and low for Sir Whiskers, fearing the worst. Days turned into weeks, and the king's sorrow deepened. He realized how much he loved Sir Whiskers, not just as a pet, but as a companion. One day, while Whiskers was lounging in a sunbeam, he heard a familiar voice calling his name. It was the king. Whiskers felt a pang of guilt, but also a warm rush of love. He bounded towards the voice, and when King Reginald saw him, his face lit up with joy. Whiskers, my dear friend, I've missed you so much, the king exclaimed, scooping him up. Whiskers purred and nuzzled the king, but he also looked back at the forest wistfully. The king noticed and understood. Ah, uh, I see, said King Reginald. You found something precious out here, haven't you? Freedom and adventure. From that day on, King Reginald made a decree. Whiskers would still be the royal cat, but he was free to roam the kingdom as he pleased. He would have the best of both worlds, the comforts of the palace and the freedom of the wild. And so, Whiskers lived happily ever after, exploring the kingdom by day and returning to the palace by night. He was no longer bound by royal duties, but embraced his life with joy and wonder, knowing he was loved for who he truly was. <laughs>